Hello and welcome to Sumo Assist. Welcome to episode 3 of my limited card journey. In this weekly series I'll be sharing my results, purchases, sales, squad building updates and my profit and loss. So keep watching to see my latest results. Before all that, if you've just discovered this channel, then welcome. If you're a returning visitor, it's good to see you again. On this channel, you will find all the server tutorials, scouting, tips and tricks, and of course, this weekly series. So make sure you subscribe by smashing that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to be the first to be alerted about any new videos. If you found this video useful, then please give me the thumbs up by turning that like button blue. If you haven't signed up to Surrey yet, then what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, then drop them in the comments section below. So, let's get straight into this week's episode of the Surrey Assist Weekly Limited Squad Building Journey Series. And I'll show my profit and loss at the end of the video, so make sure you watch until the end. So let's start with my results from the last two game weeks. So game week 201... I finished 130th in the Champion Asia Division. This was my team. I actually only had two players that was had a fixture in that um, game week. But I still managed to score with 107, which wasn't fantastic. But that still got me a place of 130th in the Champion Asia with just two players, which was absolutely fantastic. And that 130 place finished actually got me an award as well. So the award that I got was... Katsuya Nagata of Kashima Antlers. This is one that I'm probably going to look to sell. He is capable of some high scores as represented here, but he's not really getting enough playing time at the minute. And as we know from previous episodes, I've already got my champion Asia defender that I want. So he's one that I will look to sell on. I also had a fantastic result in finishing fourth in the Global All-Star. Now bearing in mind this was the first week where I actually had a full team that was all playing and I finished fourth which was absolutely fantastic. I was actually only two points away from finishing in the podium spot which would have got me some nice ETH and a star limited card. But the fourth player still got me a star limited card and I'll show you what I want in a moment. Just show you the team that won me that card. That was Bergwis with 65, Captain Hernandez 69, Blanco got 67, Lee Young got a fantastic 86, and Brad Kazan got me 67. So the star rare card that I won was Marcos Senesi of Feyenoord. Absolutely fantastic card this. You can see here from his last 15 and last 40, absolutely brilliant. And if we look at all his scores on SO5, absolutely fantastic. It's just a sea of green. So I was very, very pleased with this reward. Plays for a good team in the Dutch League. Only 24. Fantastic scores. Very, very good prize. So moving on to game week 202 then. A bit of mixed results this week. Some poor showings from some of my players. Division 5, I got finished 357th. As you can see, a lot of my players didn't have the best of weeks. Division 5 America, finished 345th. Captain Morales at 44. Wagner was the, the, the key player there in that game week, but the rest of the scores just wasn't really up to scratch. In the champ in the Global All-Star Division 5, I finished 230th. Lindell got 43. Pantemis 82. Atate 40. Hallhauser 56. And Captain Begus got me 76. Now that 230th place finish actually got me a tier 3 rare. And that reward was Marillo. Actually, when I first saw this, I was thinking, oh, he's not really the best, but I wasn't expecting a fantastic player anywhere in the tier 3 category. But he's actually a very good player. Scores-wise, as you can see, he's got some fantastic scores. Now, these are all scores where he's played 75 minutes or more. And as you can see, he's getting some fantastic scores when he does play. Looks like his potential is still settling into so an FC he did sign from a Brazilian side, Brazilian B side I believe. Um, but the stats at his old club and his current club, Pen 90, look absolutely fantastic. So Marillo is one that I'm absolutely going to keep because he's still pretty young. And I think he's going to be a regular starter for so an FC for the rest of this season and potentially next season as well. So let's move on now to my purchases then. So here are my purchases since the last episode. So I've brought in Hallhauser for a cool £110. 
Also bought Patemis for £81. Thought that was cheap for a young goalkeeper. I expect him to be the first choice at Montreal now. Now Diop has left. He's not played all the games recently, but that because he was on international duty with Canada. And I've also brought in two copies of Nani. These prices just look too good to turn down. This guy is very consistent, absolutely fantastic the last couple of seasons in the MLS. And also this season as well. One of the star players for Orlando and is capable of getting some absolutely fantastic scores and so rare. The reason for the low price is because he did get injured. Then he was working his way back into the team. He'd come on in a couple of sub appearances. But then he started a game and then he got sent off with two yellow cards. So his last five doesn't look fantastic. And you know what that usually does to the player's price. It usually brings the price down. So I took the opportunity and snapped up two versions of Nani. Because he is a fantastic player. And one of the best midfielders in the MLS. In terms of SL5 scoring. So total spend was £248. The only sale from last week was Ma Sang Hoon for just £5. But I've added that to the kitty to get some potential new signings. This is a card that I won previously on a tournament. So let's have a look at my SO5 teams now. So we'll start with the Global All-Star. As you can see, new signings Patemis and M Nani have slotted straight into the slots here. Gill is on my radar for the other midfield slot or Halhauser. Gill would be the preference, but his price is very inflated at the moment. Same with Bergwis. He's my forward option, but his price is very high at the moment. So I am hoping that their prices come down, although it's looking unlikely for Bergwis. But Gill's price may come, out, come down as the MLS draws to a close. So it's one that I'll probably look to pick up for next season. So total spend on the global all-star at the moment is 134. Moving on to Champion Asia now. No new signings this week apart from the card that I won, which was Marillo. He's gone straight into my reserve team. Got a fairly decent squad and Big Garam has been in and out of the team recently. But Marillo may slot in there or even Palavefic if he can improve his form. Forward wise, I've only got Ilichenko at the moment, but the main target is Cecina. But as with Bergwis and Gill, his price is a little bit inflated at the moment. But this team is coming along nicely. No new signings though this week, apart from the reward that I won who was sitting in my reserves. So total cost so far is 225. So moving on to Champion America. New signing Nanny has slotted into the final slot there in the midfield category. Gill again is the preference for this team. But as I say, his price is a little bit inflated at the moment. I've also got Blanco as an option to slot in one of these midfield slots. And Medrin is one that I'm looking to sell. So this team is pretty much done and dusted. As I say, Gill would be a nice signing, but I'm pretty happy with this team as it is. So £196 was the total spend for these this team, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So Challenge Europe, my new reward, my star limited reward, has actually slotted right into my defender slot there. Now this was the last position I was after. Hal Hauser was also a new signing. He slotted into the midfield slot. Brules I'll probably look to sell. In terms of the defender slot, my preference was Douglas Santos, but I think Senesi is a fantastic replacement for Santos. And Feyenoord will probably keep a lot more clean sheets as well. So I'm very, very happy with this team. Romo is obviously playing for a team that's a bit lower than that down in the league. But he does plenty of saves. And Levan did finish near mid-table mid last season, so I'm hoping they can improve their form. Because the if he can get some clean sheets, he's going to get some fantastic scores, because he does make a number of saves during the games. So total spend for this team at the moment is £432. So moving on to the Champion Europe. If you've watched previous videos, you'll know that I'm not really concentrating on Champion Europe at the moment. Because they are usually quite expensive in this region. I am concentrating on the other leagues first. And hopefully I'll win some of these cards as I go along. Same for under 23. These prices are inflated as well. So let's have a look now at my profit and loss. With all these purchases and sales. And rewards that I've won as well. So here we are then. Here's the profit and loss after 6 game weeks. Okay, 
So this is my total cost for all my um, teams. So Global All Star 134, Challenger Europe 432, Asia 225, and America 196. So that's a total of 987 pounds spent. ETH from CAD Limited Sales and ETH Rewards is 57 pound, and this section here on the right is cards one that are still in my gallery so this figure here is the average monthly price of these cards and altogether that equals 156 pound for these figures for these players here so figures wise then total cost 987 which is this number eth wins and sales 57 pound which is this number and total one month value of cards one 156 pound so these of course are these cards here and this figure here so that equals a profit loss of minus 772. But this doesn't tell the whole story because, of course, I've also got my limited card collection now, which I've obviously purchased with this money here. So more than likely, my limited card collection is going to be worth more than this value here. But what I'm going to be doing in next week's video is valuing my gallery, my so rare limited gallery, just so that I can add this to the profit and loss figure here and see how much my gallery is worth now so that we can work out my total profit and loss taking into account the gallery value as well. So make sure you stick around for that. I will be doing that at the end of every month. I'll be updating the gallery value at the end of every month, last video of every month. So make sure you subscribe so that you can see next week's video and we'll see what my true profit and loss is after, at that point, will be eight game weeks okay so let's have a, just a quick look at my potential teams for the upcoming game week which is course starts on friday so i've got three teams entered in this game week so we'll start with the champion asia team so in this team i've gone for Pato gyu in goalkeeper slot Hatate in defence, Bitgram as captain. Now, we didn't play the last game at all, so I expect him to start this game. And they have got a quite an easy fixture as well at home to a side that's near the bottom of the table. My new reward has got straight into the team, Marillo in the midfield slot. And my only option in the forward category in the Champion Asia is, of course, Ilgischenko. So he's slotted straight into the forward slot. Fixture-wise, as you can see, they've all got some fairly decent fixtures. This the, Marillo's probably got the hardest fixture away to Daegu. Um but hopefully they'll get me some decent scores there. So the other team I've gone for is in the Champion America Division 5, of course. And I've gone for Brad Guzan in goal, Kai Wagner in defence, Morales as my captain, Blanco in midfield, and Hernandez as up front. Now I've not put Nani in the side this week, that's because Blanco is at home, Nani is away, um, so I expect Blanco to hopefully have a better game. I've gone for Captain Morales there, so I'm hoping he does the business for me. In terms of fixtures, Atlanta are away to Philadelphia, Philadelphia are home to Atlanta, so let's hope for a 0-0 draw. New York City are home to New York Red Bulls, um, Porter are all at home to Salt Lake City, and... LA Galaxy are away to Austin. So I think there's a chance of a good scores there, especially if it's a nil nil draw in the Atlanta and Philadelphia game. Okay, so the final team that I've got for the upcoming game week is in the Global All Star Division 5. As you noticed here, I've got quite a lot of players for my Challenger Europe team. This is because I've not got a, a team yet for the Global All Star team, so I am mixing and match, matching a bit still at the moment. Just so that I can get into a team in the Global All-Star because you do have a good chance of winning a reward in that division. So in goal I've gone for Pantemis. Senesi has gone in my defender slot. New sign in there. New sign in Halhauser has slotted into the midfield slot. I've also got Lindell in midfield and I've got Bergwis as my captain. Fixture wise, Montreal are away to Columbus. S Senesi is at home to Neck. Halhauser are at home to Upen. Lindell's got a bit of a harder fixture. They're at home to Red Bull Salzburg. And Captain Begwus are at home to Groningen. So I'm hoping for a good week from this team. 
So we'll see how we'll get on um, in next week's video. So that's it for this week. But don't forget, the next episode is on Thursday, so make sure you subscribe to see how I get on. If you have any thoughts on today's video, then drop them in the comment section below. Are there any players you think I've missed that could be a good purchase for my starting lineups at a good price? Then let me know below. If you enjoyed this video then please like the video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to pin that notification bell to be the first to be informed about our new videos you can also follow us on twitter facebook and instagram by searching for Soro assist also check out my free website soroassist.com links for all this are in the description below there's also a link for so rare if you've not signed up yet to get yourself signed up and get yourself a free limited card after purchasing your first five cards Okay, that's it from me this week. I'll see you again in the next video.